I'm going to show you how to use some of the commenting tools in Adobe Acrobat. Your version of Acrobat may look a little bit different depending on the version you are using, but the commenting tools are the same. First, you need to be able to access the commenting tools. With your PDF file open in Acrobat, select the Tools tab. Then select the Comment button in the Tools Center under Share and Review. The Comment toolbar will appear along the top of the PDF, and the Comment pane will appear along the right side of the PDF. Let's look at the five commenting tools that are the most useful when supplying revisions to a designer when working on a publication such as a book. Add sticky note, highlight text, strike through text, add note to replace text, and insert text at cursor. The sticky note tool lets you stick a comment anywhere on the page. To use the sticky note tool, select it in the toolbar and then click the spot where you want the note to appear. Your cursor will move to the comment pane where you can type your comment. After typing your comment, select the post button. Use this commenting tool when you want to add a general comment that is not connected to any text, such as a note to add an image or general feedback. The highlight text tool lets you add a background color to the text in order to draw attention to it. To use the highlight text tool, select it in the toolbar and then select the text you want to highlight. Your cursor will move to the comment pane where you can type your comment. After typing your comment, select the post button. Use this commenting tool when you want to add a note to existing text, such as denoting that a specific word or sentence needs to be italicized. The strike through tool places a red line through text that you want to mark for deletion. To use the strike through tool, select it in the toolbar and then select the text that you want to be deleted. Use this commenting tool when you want to simply delete text. You do not need to add an additional comment as using the tool itself defines the action needed. The note to replace text tool lets you mark text for replacement and creates a note providing replacement text. To use the note to replace text tool, select it in the toolbar and then select the text to be replaced. Your cursor will move to the comment pane where you can type the replacement text. After typing the replacement text, Select the post button. Use this commenting tool when you want to replace or change existing text. The insert text at cursor tool lets you indicate where new text should be inserted or added. To use the insert text at cursor tool, select it in the toolbar and then click the location where you want the new text to be inserted. Your cursor will move to the comment pane where you can type the text that will be added. After typing the new text, select the post button. Use this commenting tool when you want to add text, not replace existing text. There are many more commenting tools available in Acrobat, but these are the primary tools to use, especially if you're not familiar with marking up a PDF. You want to make sure you use one commenting tool per revision. So before you comment, you need to determine the action you want, replacing or deleting or inserting or commenting. For example, you don't need to use the strike through tool as well as the highlight text tool if you want to denote that text should be deleted. You would only use the strike through tool.